1973, Arthur C. Clarke, recognized for decades as a prophet of science fiction and science, unveils the secrets to his prophetic success. The three laws of prediction. The first law is when a distinguished, venerable scientist states that something is possible, it probably is possible. But when a distinguished scientist says something is impossible, it's still probably possible. Arthur C. Clarke's second law says that in order to make great discoveries, you have to go beyond the possible into the realm of the impossible. All the great scientists of the past centuries went into the realm of the impossible in order to make fantastic discoveries. But it is Clark's third law that profoundly captures his vision of the future. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. We've seen that in human history. One culture has an advanced technology, the other can't really explain it. Think of our ancestors, our grandparents in the year 1900. If they could see us today with our rockets and our GPS and our satellites, they would consider us to be wizards and sorcerers. So look around. Everywhere you look, you see Arthur C. Clarke's third law in action. Clarke himself acknowledges the pitfalls of prophecy. The prophet invariably falls between two stools. If his predictions sound at all reasonable, you can be quite sure that in 20 or at most 50 years, the progress of science and technology has made him seem ridiculously conservative. On the other hand, if by some miracle a prophet could describe the future exactly as it was going to take place, his predictions would sound so absurd, so far-fetched, that everybody would laugh him to scorn. 